and welcome everybody. This is Mike Mercer from Mercer Quality Consulting bringing you some more information on nonlinear regression. Uh, as we've seen from the previous uh, tutorial, uh, the Minitab implementation of nonlinear regression is quite easy to do. You need your data, you need the model that you're trying to fit, and then you need some initial starting values for the iteration to the final parameter values. Uh, how you come about and get these starting values is uh, probably the only trick left uh, to find. And so in this tutorial addendum, we're going to talk about some general ideas on how to find those starting values. And I'm going to use the uh, model that we used in the last uh, uh, example. So the first thing we want to do is plot the data as y versus x. And why do we do that? We're going to look for asymptotes at x equals 0 or x equals infinity. We're going to look for intercepts at x equals 0. We're going to replot the data as 1 over y versus x, uh, log of y versus x, 1 over y versus the log of x, log of y versus log of x. And again, we're going to look for the plots for indications of asymptotic values or intercepts. Then once we've uh, got some idea that some of these exist, we're going to reduce the form of the equation at x equals 0 and x equals infinity to see if a parameter shakes out as an asymptote or as an intercept. Straight lines uh, can be interpreted as slopes. We can calculate the slope from the chart and uh, reinterpret those in, in some of the models. Often a log y versus a log x, uh, if the, the model uh, is, is uh, willing, uh, can show a parameter shaking out as a slope. And uh, we can uh, get an estimate of the uh, value from uh, hand computing a slope. Uh, often we can make informed guesses at values of some of the parameters based on our general scientific knowledge, our empirical background knowledge, or just some mathematical uh, uh, reasoning. The last thing we can do is we can use Minitab to actually compute values of the model using the trial estimates and plot the predicted values versus the original data. We're going to try all of these things now and uh, uh, go through some examples real quick to show you what we're doing and then we'll go into Minitab and actually perform some of the calculations. So here's just the y versus x plot, and you can see that it looks like there's an asymptotic value as x approaches infinity at uh, 700. So there's one approach. So what do we do now? Well, we got to take a look at the equation at uh, x equals infinity. So here's the form of the equation, and uh, when x goes to infinity, then the exponential of k2 minus k3x goes to 0. So uh, the form reduces to this. So it's a k1 over 1 to the power 1 over k4. Anything uh, to, uh, 1 to any power is equal to 1, so y equals k1. So k1 is that asymptotic value uh, at 700. So that was fairly easy. So we've got 1 down, 3 to go. Now let's take an example of an informed guess. So here's the model again. And that 1 over k4 exponent in a denominator really makes things complicated. So let's assume for simplicity k4 equals 1. And it probably isn't too far different, and that makes the math simpler. It's probably not too far different because that would make that uh, denominator term much more powerful if k4 were uh, bigger or smaller than 1. So now the equation uh, reduces uh, to this. It's quite simple. Uh, so we now have 2 down and 2 to go. We've got the k1 as the asymptote 700 and k4 for simplicity as 1. Well, now let's take a look at log y versus x. And as x goes to 0, it looks like there's an intercept uh, of about 2 on the log y value. So let's uh, take the log of the equation. Again, let's assume k4 equals 1. Uh, at x equals 0, uh, y0 equals k1 over 1 plus the uh, exponential. But the k3x is 0, so it's really just uh, k1 over 1 plus exponential of k2. Now assume that the exponential of k2 is large compared to 1, and then the form of the equation reduces to uh, k1 over exponential of k2. or k1 times exponential of minus k2. Now let's take the log of that. And so uh, the log of the product is the sum of the of the logs. 
and uh, so this becomes the log of k1 minus k2. Thus, k2, uh, solving for k2, we get it it's the log of k1 minus the log of the value of y at 0. So we know that that uh, log of y at 0 is 2. We know what k1 is, it's 700, so the log of 700 is 6.55, therefore k2 is equal to 4.55. Three down, one to go. We have the k1, the k2, and the k4. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's uh, model and guess values of k3 using uh, the mini tab plotting data versus the estimated value. So let's just pick out of our hat a k3 equals 1, <laughs> nice round starting number. And uh, when I uh, plot the uh, predicted values, I can see that uh, it's got the nice same kind of nice shape and the, sort of the same asymptote, but we're off a little. So well, let's see. Let's go k equals k3 equals 2. Whoops! I got I went in the wrong direction. So let's go k3 equals a half. Oh, I went uh, wrong direction. Other side. Well, let's split the difference between 1 and 0.5 and go 0.75. Oh. That's pretty darn good, so that's good enough starting point. So now we've got our four estimates. You can see that they differ from the NIST starting estimates, but if we run the nonlinear regression with these homegrown estimates, uh, the result parameter values are as precise as the NIST listed values. Okay, now I'm going to uh, Alt Tab over to Mini Tab and show how to make the uh, 1 over y the log of y first thing we do is go up to the edit command, go to the command line editor, and then we're going to use a command let c3, the next available column, equal 1 over c1, that's the y value. I'm going to name c3, single quote, uh, 1 slash y, single quote. I'm going to submit the command, and there you can see very neatly uh, that we not only compute the values of 1 over y, but we name the column 1 over y. I've saved a little time by uh, re-entering into the command line editor the following values. I let c4 equal the log of c1, and I named c4 the log of y. I let c5 equal the log of c2, and I've named c5 uh, the log of x. So let's go ahead and submit those, and there we have it. Now we want to plot these, so we go up to the graph scatter plot with connect line, go OK. Now we've got y versus x. We want 1 over y versus x. We want log of y versus x. We want uh, y versus log of x. 1 over y versus log of x. And uh, log of y versus log of x. OK. We get those charts. Let's go up to look at the charts in the project manager Okay, and this is the one that we already saw. We saw the asymptote at uh, x equals infinity of 700. Let's look at 1 over y versus x. Um, not showing much uh, different, although there may be an intercept here, but let's look at some of the other graphs. Here's the log of y versus x. Yeah, let's, uh, looks like there might be a, a simpler intercept to compute. Let's click on the uh, value here. Let's go to the minimum and let's put in a value of 1. Yeah, it looks like there's that value of 2 that we saw before. Okay, let's look at the next uh, chart which is a y versus log of x. Uh, not much interest there. How about 1 over y versus the log of x? 1 over y versus log x, and log of y versus log of x. And there is uh, an example of a, of a straight line. That perhaps uh, the model will reduce to uh, a constant uh, linear model in log of y and log of x, and then you can estimate the, uh, the uh, slope. So the slope looks like, uh, oh, it's about 6.55 minus 3 over 2.5 minus 0. So. Let's get back to the main mini tab interface with the idea of how to uh, simulate uh, the uh, values of K3. First, I'm going to flip back to the NIST web page, go to the RAT43 data set, go to the data column, and copy the 
uh, equation of the model that we're going to use. I'm going to go back to Minitab. I'm going up to Edit, the command line dialog, and I'm going to go down a few things and paste in uh, the equation. I'm going to go let C6, the next available column, equal, and uh, now I've got these B1s, but I'm going to replace all the Bs with Ks. I'm going to replace, again, that uh, square bracket and this B with a K and this B with a K because Minitab knows what Ks are. We're going to actually define the Ks round bracket and finally we're going to put K4. Alright, so we're going to actually go up to the top here. I'm going to go let K1 equal and uh, that was uh, the 700 value we had. Let K2 equal to, that was at 4.55 value, and then we're going to let k4 equal, that was a value of 1, and now we're going to let uh, k3 be equal, we're going to start with 1. Alright, now we're going to submit the commands, and there we are. Oh, okay, so let's call this y predict, y pred, okay. So let's plot that now. We'll go up to graph. We'll go up to scatter plot. We'll use with connect. And I'm going to press F3 to get rid of all the previous things we had. Let's go Y versus X. That's the data. Let's do Y predict versus X. Now we're going to go to multiple graphs here and we're going to put these on the same graph. And uh, again, we see uh, that we missed. Let's go back to the command line editor. Let me put in my value of uh, 2. Submit the commands and graph, scatter plot. Okay, okay. And there we are. You can see that we're repeating the same thing. We'll do it one last time. Again, go in and we know what the best value was uh, we had from last time, 0.75, edit that. Now we're going to go plot it again, graph, scatter, plot. Everything's the same, just hit OK, and there we are. Now that we've done all that hard work uh, estimating the parameters, let's go and do some nonlinear regression. Uh, first thing I need to do is flip back to the NIST web page. I have to copy that equation again, go back to Minitab, Let's go up to Stat, Regression, Nonlinear Regression. Uh, response is going to be Y. I'm going to paste the uh, model value in. Uh, I've got to get rid of the square brackets. Let's put in a bracket. Let's go to the parameters. And the first one uh, was 700. The B2 was 4.55, the B3 uh, 0.75, and the B4 for convenience was 1. Let's go OK, let's go OK, and there we are. Pretty good estimate uh, of the graph, looks like. Let's go back into the session window, and yep, those are the same values precisely that NAST has certified. Well, that's it. Uh, that's a, a quick and dirty way of looking at how to get those initial uh, parameters and how to put them into the nonlinear regression. Thanks for watching, and please attend some more tutorials in Minitab version 16.